How's it going bros? Welcome back to another Modern Combat Versus video. Today we're talking about the very next update in the game that's coming. We're going to talk about the balancing changes that are happening. So the first is a little bit of gameplay changes. You're now able to shoot through your allies' bodies before you weren't able to shoot through other people on your team's bodies. They also made it so that when you're sprinting and you reload, you no longer sprint. Um, so those are big changes. Some other stuff as well, like the shields are more transparent for Khan and for towers. You can see through them better. As far as the balancing goes, Ghost now has an increased shotgun fire rate of 15%. Monarch, they made the pistol better because um, people just weren't using it. That's what I remember. Khan, they nerfed a bunch because he was just too powerful. They decreased the amount of time that his dome was out. If I can get a headshot here, good. Come back here, this side. Waiting for it. No buddy. Also with Khan, um, let's see, they, yeah, so the, basically they, they decreased the health of the dome by 33%, and then they also decreased the amount of time that it stays up to, here's this guy, hold on. Get wrecked, bro. We gotta run, we gotta run. I forgot about my special. But they also made it so that it lasts like one second less in time. I see him over there. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Run, run, run. Play smart. By the way, a lot, lot of good tips in the last video. Those will be popping up on the screen randomly throughout this video. Stuff like, hey, don't, don't take the main route to the point. Always make sure you have a couple defensive guys on your team to tank. Good tips. This is tower coming in. See, and I gotta run gonna try and bash me so points being contested I'm gonna come around here lock v lock bro I'm taking care of business right now oh, I'm gonna get killed all right that'll let us get back into the uh, back into the updates so con big nerf creeper nobody's using creeper my creeper is actually I have swift at level 8 and then I have creeper at level 8 and with Halloween man people want to play with creeper so Creeper, they said, was too hard to control. They decreased the hip spread um, and the recoil, so he's much more easier to control, basically, is what they did. Where are they? Oh, use my sp I, I always forget to use my special. So those are the difference in balancing changes with the agents. I think that's all of them. I don't think I missed anyone. Let me know if I did. Die, Minu. People say it's Minu, not Minu. I always thought if it ended in a vowel, that you would pronounce the I like an I and not not an E. So let me know in the comments if it's Minu or Minu. I don't know if there's anything official, but generally in the English lesson, when something ends in a vowel like U, that I sounds like the letter I. That's why I say Minu, but then people were saying that, or that's why I've been saying Minu, but people were saying it's actually Minu. All right, let's see how many kills I got. We got nine eliminations, five killing spree. Really rocked it. Let's do one more gameplay. We'll use a different agent. So many tanks in this match, so I think I probably should go Monarch, even though he's level two. Let's try Monarch out. Really wanted to start with Tower, but we already have enough tanks. So I'm gonna try to kind of camp back, let my tanks rush in, and just try to lay down some fire. Only have my Monarch at level two. He's my worst ranked agent, but man, this guy's a blast. Oh, I, cut, I forgot a couple things. So you know the crosshairs right now is just this little dot. That's going to change. They're actually gonna put some crosshairs. They're gonna make that better. They're also gonna change the colors. How did I kill him? Oh my goodness. Where's my team, bro? Oh, that, that level six Monarch got me. Um, so yeah, they're changing the crosshairs. They're also changing the colors of the HUD just to make it a little bit easier to see and stuff like that. And then the other thing, you know how at the end it only shows the MV MVP for your team? They're changing that as well. Rest in peace, Monarch. There he is. Oh man, that was nice. Dude, Monarch is a blast to play with, I'll tell you what. So fun. The animation's really, really good for Monarch. So Monarch's gonna be getting that pistol buff, which will be nice. Uh, but yeah, the, how it only shows MVP for your team. What it's gonna do, that other, oh wow, tons of Monarchs on the other team. They're gonna be making it so you see the MVP for both sides, so that'll be nice. All right, let's go. I might switch to tower. I need to practice with Monarch. I'm so used to scoping in with every other game with actual crosshairs or an actual scope. He got me. He got me. 
and uh, this with the auto shoot and it having to charge, I'm not used to this type of sniper mechanics. Also the double tap on the right side of the screen, just something I'm not that used to. Did I miss? Yeah, they're hiding behind this. There it is. Freaking this monarch's wrecking me. All right, we're coming in with tower. We're gonna switch it up, tower it is. Let's get in there with this tank, see what we can do. 18% right now. I feel like once I get good with Monarch, I'm going to be OP with, with him. Because Monarch or her, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but Monarch is just, I, I don't know, I just really, really like the mechanics of Monarch. I just need to get better. Okay. I can do that too. Oh my goodness. Freak, so I should have got my shield up and did the shield bang. See, I'm not, I don't like the defensive characters. They don't fit my play style. I like to assault and snipe. All right, let's do our best to come in here. We gotta protect for our teammates. Okay, come on. I got you guys. There it is. How do I, uh, what do I have to do? Double tap? So let's just protect. Oh, wow. That, that dude did work. Finally figured out what the health bar was as well. It's in the, uh, it's in the corner. That corner over there, the upper right corner. 39. Come on, tower. Get in there and tank. It's going to be contested soon. Zach's still there. We'll put my shield up. Soon. Here comes the shield. There it is. Come on, come on. Did I bash him? There it is, there it is, there it is. Monarch got me again. Holy crap. Monarch laying down fire from across the way. Getting wrecked, and they are at 91%. We're at 72. We got to get in there and help. Nice work, guys. Dude, I want something that does more damage. These defensive guys, they just move too slow. They're too tanky for me. Doesn't fit my play style at all. I like to run around. Okay. We're just going to do this. Did I get him? So, guys, teach me how the shield bash works. What do you do? Just double tap? Like this? Did I get that kill? No? See, I don't, I don't know how to do this one. And we're at 100%. I don't think I hardly got any kills, maybe but two. Appreciate you watching. Hope this video helped you out. Uh, that's all the balancing changes and the stuff that, that's being added again. Crosshairs, slight changes to HUD. Khan's getting a big nerf. The shield and the shield that tower has in the dome that Khan puts up is going to be more see-through. Four kills or four eliminations, excuse me. Somebody said that's like what they call it in Overwatch is eliminations, not kills. And then all the balancing changes. Really excited, not sure when the update drops, but I'll keep you guys posted, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.